on your sideline. Sports brought to you by the Hawk Law Group. Good evening, everyone. It's the final week of the regular season for college football, and that means we have some great rivalry games across the nation tonight, including a couple of big ones across the two state. In just a minute, we're going to hear from Alyssa Lyons, who is live in Atlanta, breaking down everything from the Dogs and the Jackets game out there. But for now, let's dive into the 2023 edition of the Paul Meadow Bowl between South Carolina and Clemson. After losing their game last year in their own building, the Clemson Tigers came to Williams Bryce Stadium and defeated the Gamecocks 16 to 7 in this one and this one dragged a little bit. There was a lot of defense, a lot of penalties and both of these teams were just grinding this game out in the 120th edition of this rivalry. Now it feels like every time these two teams go head to head they're playing for more than just bragging rights and that could not be more true tonight for the Gamecocks who coming into this game only had five wins. They finished their season with those five wins which means they are not bowl eligible this season and their season is over. That is the first time under Shane Beamer that this team will not be going bowling. And part of that early on in this game, very, very early on in this game, rather, South Carolina had two turnovers in the first minute of this game, one of which was a fumble that went all the way into the end zone for Clemson, putting the Tigers up seven to nothing early on. And that really dictated the pace, giving Clemson the momentum they needed early on in in this game. Now, the Gamecocks defense did, did give them a chance. They put a lot of pressure on Cade Klubnik, who was under fire for the majority of the night. And to be honest with you, one of the things that I was looking forward to in this game was to seeing how Clemson was going to be attacking the Gamecocks deep, which has been one of the Gamecocks' problems on defense this season. They did not take a lot of shots downfield, which led the Gamecocks to stay in this game. The Gamecocks got into the end zone on a trick play that ended up being their lone score of the game. But now Clemson ended up having a couple of field goals in this game. They were able to move the ball just into field goal range enough to give them a chance to take the lead and keep adding to it. And despite not allowing an offensive touchdown, South Carolina just couldn't get enough going on offense, which ended up leading to their demise once again, 16 to 7. The Gamecocks will not be playing anymore this season, but the Georgia Bulldogs had themselves a game tonight before the SEC championship game against Atlanta in Atlanta next weekend against Alabama.